Hello and welcome back. This is Michael again and in this training lesson we're going to talk about pages. Now I'm going to assume that you have already watched the video on posts which is what we're going to talk about in relationship to pages. So uh, if you haven't watched the post video already or aren't familiar with how posts work I would suggest that you watch that one first. Um, I'm starting here on the Nebraska Libraries for website because it's a really great example of kind of how pages can show up and where they are and what their differences are between um, or what the differences are between pages and posts. Posts in this case are what show up here. So for example, welcome Osceola Public Library. Uh, as I scroll down here, weather woes, welcome Elgin Public Library. We'd like to know what you think. These are all posts and um, in the post video I showed you how to create new posts and edit posts. Pages are very similar when it comes to the editing function of them uh, when it comes to creating and editing, but they don't appear here in your blog or wherever your posts show up, they actually show up somewhere else. In this example, they show up up here across the top, so about online training, contact, participating libraries, looking for your library and want to participate are all pages on this site as opposed to posts. Now, when you first sign up with uh, us and you get your library's website, and I'll use Osceola here as an example since they just went live recently, your site will be pre-populated with some pages. And they are About Us, Calendar, Contact for Kids and Teens, and Nebraska Resources. These are pre-populated and you can uh, change them as you wish. You can add them, you can rearrange them, and we'll go through each one of these. I'm going to show you one other example here real quick. If we go to the Republican Valley Library website, um, you'll see that they have added some additional pages such as on-demand, periodical policies, and policies is one that we do recommend you put up on your own site, print resources and services. So one of the things you're going to notice is that where they show up in your site really depends on your theme. So in this theme they're showing up here under the banner. In this theme they're also showing up under the banner. But in the theme we're using for the project blog they kind of show up here across the top. So you want to keep this in mind when you are picking your theme as to where the menu linking to your pages actually goes. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to go ahead and log into my site. And uh, posts, as I mentioned, we talked about earlier, and under there you can see all posts and add new. In this case, we're going to go to pages, and you also have an all pages and add new uh, submenu. So if we just go ahead and select all pages, what you'll see here is very similar to the list that you will see when you look at um, your list of posts, but in this case, these are the pages. Um, as you can see here, we've got some pages already set up. And what I'm going to do right off the top is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select an add new. I'm going to add a new page. And let's say I want to go ahead and create a page about my library's policies. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a title. And then um, your policies, you probably have them as Word documents already, maybe some PDFs. Um, if you want to keep them as PDFs, you can go ahead and uh, link to those if you want. Refer to some of the other training videos for that. Um, if you have them as Word documents and you like to put them in here, one thing I'll just point out is you can paste from a Word document. Just go ahead and use this button. If that second row isn't there, you can turn it on and off using what's called the kitchen sink button. I believe I also covered those in uh, the um, uh, posts video. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this is some sample uh, policy text. I can't type today, and well, let's go ahead and fix that spelling error. Whoops, Ponzi. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Okay, can you tell I'm doing these live? So we've got some sample policy text. You can insert graphics. You can do anything you want on a page that you can do in a post. Um, we'll talk about parent in just a moment, but I'm going to go ahead and click publish. <coughs> Excuse me, and then at this point I can view the page or I can view the whole site. I'm going to go ahead and view the whole site here to take a look at what we've got. Now I've created this new page and it is showing up up here in the uh, list of menu items and, and it, it seems to be appearing third or fourth depending on how you count here. Um, by default pages will appear in your menu alphabetically. In a few moments I'll show you how you can change those orders around. Now what you will notice when we actually go to a page, which I'll go to right now, I'll go to that policies page I just created, um, it's going to look just like the rest of your site. It's going to have the, the uh, banner and header across the top. It's going to have any sidebars either to the left or the right that your theme may have. But in this case, it is just, you can think of it as being presented like a post, 
but it doesn't appear in the list of posts. It just stands on its own. So you want to use posts for things like um, current events, news, things like that. You use pages for content that is pretty darn static. Policies, the contact page, the calendar page. Um, you may update the content of those pages, but you don't really want them to move around. You don't aren't putting them into a hierarchy of posts, that sort of thing. So when you are creating content, think posts for kind of dated, up-to-date material and pages for more uh, content that is considered static or long-term would maybe be a good way to think about it. Um, a few other things to think about when it comes to posts is that I'm going to go back to my all pages here just to kind of reset us. Uh, when you look at your all pages list, you can hover over and do an edit, a quick edit, trash and view, just like you can with posts. Uh, you'll see the author over here, you'll see any comments, and you'll see when it was published. So you'll also notice here this one is listed as a draft, so just like with posts, you can create draft pages and come back to work at, on them a little later. Now, one of the, th the things I want to point out is that you can kind of create nested lists. And if I go over back to Osceola's page for just a moment, notice as I hover over About Us, About Us is a page, but then they've put their policies and their staff and board members underneath that. So what I'm going to show you here is, let's say I want my policies page to be under About, sort of like Osceola did. Now there's a couple of ways to get to this. I'm just going to go ahead and do kind of the most direct way here. I'm going to go back and edit my page. And then over here under Page Attributes, I'm going to look at Parent. And right now it says No Parent, so that means it's at the same level as all of those other pages. But if I go ahead and select, I want the parent of this page to be the About page, and then go ahead and Update. Okay. And now if I go back to my site and I refresh, okay. notice now About has dis or excuse me, Policies has disappeared from this menu, but if I hover over About, it actually doesn't show up. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly went wrong uh, with this. Um, the one possible thing I can think of is it didn't update properly. So let's go ahead and check that. And we'll go ahead and go home and then hover over about. And that isn't working. Okay, well, the one thing I can think of is it's possible that this theme does not support nested pages. Um, so if that is something you're going to want to do, you're going to want to test that with your theme. As you can see here, that doesn't seem to be supported in my theme, but that is how you would do, and that is exactly what Osceola did here to get their policy pages under About Us. And just to show that that's technically been done, if I go back to All Pages, you will see here that policy has moved itself up the list. It is now under About, and it's got this little uh, dash in front of it, and that means that About is the parent of the policies page. So kind of lesson learned here for both you and I is that this feature may not actually be supported by all themes, so choose your theme carefully. The last thing I want to mention about pages, we talked about them by default going into alphabetical order. You can change that order around. I'm going to go ahead and go back to uh, About here, and I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And the last thing I want to point out here is this order. By default, all pages are going to list an order of zero. However, if you want to put them in a particular order, you can go ahead and number them. So if you have seven pages and you don't want them in alphabetical order, you would go through and number each page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then they will be presented in that order regardless of the letters that they start with. One other quick place you can uh, see that, if I go back to my All Pages, um, if I click on the Quick Edit for one of these, you can see here you can also change the parent as you would like, and you can change the order. So um, I could go ahead and say I want this to be uh, page number six. Go ahead and update that. And now when it's displayed on my page, I'm almost hesitant to show this to you, but let's go ahead, it should work. Notice that now that that is the sixth item, it's moved all the way back down to the end of the list. And you can again number them appropriately to get them into the order you want. So just a quick review. Uh, one, uh, pages are more for long-term static information that you want presented on your website versus posts, which are more up-to-date, newsworthy sort of information. Um, you can create new, edit existing, and save drafts of any pages you want. We have pre-populated some for you, but you are welcome to uh, edit those 
as you see fit. Uh, you can change the order that the pages are, uh, are displayed in the menu by, go uh, by editing the page order field and providing that your um, a theme allows for it, you can go ahead and uh, nest those pages and create kind of drop down menus in your site. So that's the introduction to pages and how they work. If you have any questions, as always, just feel free to go ahead and leave a comment uh, on this page or with this video, and I'll do my best to answer your question and help you out. Thanks for watching.